Hey guys, Vape Diver here doing a review on the Aqua Tank by UVO Systems. It's a K-Fun type device, only better. Uh, if you like sub-ohm vapes, it's built for it. It's, uh, it's, it's built for uh, dual coils and um, has adjustable airflow, adjustable juice control, and um, we'll show you what it's all about. The Aqua Tank. Let's do it. Okay guys, here's the, uh, <clears throat> the aqua tank. Um, comes with two drip tips and um, you're not going to find many of your other drip tips that are going to work in here. It's, it seems like that bore is a little bit bigger than a, a normal drip tip, but the two drip tips they give you are really nice. Um, once you get it, you know, you, you got the top cap. You unscrew the top cap, and um, then you got your chimney, and um, there's your inside. So um, you got your chimney, your top cap. Now you can see the tank. As you unscrew it, you're going to see the uh, air holes start to emerge. So that's your adjustable air draw. Uh, open up all the way, half, more than half, I, I like it all the way open. And your uh, chimney, and that's your adjustable juice flow which just separates and shows more of the channel. And there's your deck. You got your two holes for your two uh, coils and two wicks for each side, so four channels top cap, your top posts, and um, some really nice uh, heavy O-rings, machined really well, and you got your uh, 510 connection, which does adjust, it's a little uh, regular screwdriver, you can adjust it in or out, that bottom piece actually comes off. And there's your uh, your base there. So that's your pieces and parts. Basically, you're gonna put your coils in there. And we're gonna do a couple coils in there. Um, once you're done making your coils and placing your wicks, you go ahead and you. Uh, Screw on your top cap, all the way closed. You're going to take your um, tank with the logo on the bottom, Aqua. All the way closed. Double check your juice control, closed, air control, closed. Hit the wrong button there. So uh, once your juice control and your air is closed, you fill your tank. You just uh, fill it right there from the side. Get it as high as you can without over flooding. And then you'll uh, put your top cap on. Okay, keeping it upright, screw on the top cap, and then what, what you do is you turn it over, and you uh, open up the uh, 
air control while it's flipped upside down. And just as you're opening that air control, you're going to start seeing your air holes being exposed, keeping it upside down. And sometimes you just want to check to make sure the juice valve is, is, is not opening as you open the air. So uh, once, once you expose those air holes, then you flip it back upside down or right side up and uh, you're ready to vape. I do notice once you fill it, uh, turn it upside down, open the air control, flip it right side up. That first vape or two is a little gurgly. Um, you, you can slightly blow into the uh, drip tip. Um, and, and blow the air, blow, blow the juice out of the, out of the bottom there with a little paper towel there. It's usually just for a vape or two and she clears up, but um, really nice uh, tank. So um, when you're refilling, you just kind of, uh, once you filled it and, uh, and, and you turned it upside down and you opened up the juice, uh, the air control, and then you flip it right side up and she's ready to vape. Um, remember this chimney is all the way closed, which, you know, exposes quite a bit of the wick with it in the closed position and, and works fine. It, it works fine with it closed. I tend to open mine about a turn. So, um, you know, uh, you could take the first few vapes with it closed off and then, you know, then you can, you, you, you basically grab that um, part right there under the drip tip and that opens up, that's the top of the chimney. That part is the top of the chimney. And uh, by turning that, that unscrews the chimney from the base. And uh, that's your juice control. So um, you don't have to, um, first few vapes really mess with that. Um, look at that, I got a little scratch on that thing already. Um, but as you're vaping the first few vapes, then, you know, you can check it out. If you feel you need to open up the juice control, you just, um, you just open it up by turning that. And, and, and if you want to refill it, everything's just the opposite. You, uh, holding it right side up, you go ahead and screw down the juice control, shut it off. You, um... Screw the air valve closed. Tighten it. Okay. Open up. And you don't have to take the drip tip off of this. Open up your, uh, unscrew your top cap. And, and that is um, one thing that I found When it's dry, you know, when, 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 when there's e-juice on these O-rings, that doesn't tend to happen. But everything's closed up, okay? And, and you unscrew the top cap. What that tends to do, um, like I say, it'll do it dry. And, and sometimes it does it if there's liquid. But as you unscrew that top cap, you can open up the juice control. So as you're unscrewing the top cap, just make sure that that juice control, the chimney, isn't unthreading off the base. And, and that's what just happened before, the whole thing screwed out. So as you unscrew the top cap, just kind of go down there and keep that juice control tight or closed. And then it won't pull out like it did before. So. You know, when you got this kind of control things going on, you know, it does take a little time to figure out exactly, you know, what's opened and what's closed and whatnot. But um, once you get to that point, you just refill it and um, 
There again, you fill it up, screw on your top cap, right side up, flip it upside down, hold the base, and start to unscrew the tank or the air control upside down. You wait a few seconds and then turn it right side up. Drip tip in, you're ready to vape. Once you take a few vapes, you can start to mess and open up your juice control if needed. So um, yeah, that's a look at the uh, aqua tank parts. And uh, we're gonna do a uh, coil in here and show you how I set up a dual coil. So there you can see the um, dual coils I like to set them um, oh and by the way when you um, if you can see how I was telling you about that um, connecting to the post lower and higher um, when you actually make your micro coils they have to be in different directions you have to do one clockwise <clears throat> and one counterclockwise and uh, this way they'll match front and back and attach to the um, correct side of the post. But yeah, you could see the um, the lower part of the wrapped coil here. On this side of the micro is the lower loop. It goes to the lower side of the post and opposite on the other side. The coil coming off the top, the uh, lead coming off the top of the coil is higher so you connect it to a higher part of the post and it just kind of makes everything a little bit more even so it's a beautiful deck I mean the way they got this designed is uh, pretty awesome for dual coils so we're gonna connect it back and uh, put the uh, wick in there and um, show you how it vapes so I'm using um, hemp now instead of the cotton. It's um, it's not available um, in a lot of places, but there is a place where you can get it in bulk. It's very cheap. I think you got to buy a kilo of it, and you do have to boil it and go through some processes. Um, it's a little bit more fibrous, but it wicks better, and I and I and, I, and the and the and the taste is fantastic. So uh, that's degumped hemp. It's making a big, uh, a big go right now. I think it's um, it's getting quite popular. But um, you got your wicked uh, coil. You wet it down, put some juice on it, and you can see how um, you just tuck it into the uh, juice channels. But you definitely want to wet it, you know, take some, uh, some juice, saturate it pretty good, and then just tuck it right in those slots right there. like such. So um, I'll finish wicking this and uh, we'll put it together and um, we'll uh, do some vaping and uh, button the video up. Thanks guys. So we got our finished coils. This particular build is um, 26 gauge, 7 wraps, each coil is about uh, 0.6 ohm, so with the duals you got about a 0.3 ohm build here, and it's just uh, it's just awesome. First thing you do is you um, make sure your wicks are nice and saturated. 
wet your juice before you button it up. Chimney. You want to uh, just make sure none of your cotton might be get caught in any of the uh, top cap, the uh, the um, tank. Once the tank slides on, next is your tank. And then you're ready to fill. The um, probably only con about this tank is it's uh, two mils and uh, doing dual coils it um, it goes pretty quick. So um, if you're only vaping this device during the day, you better have a bottle of juice handy. That's for sure. I mean, for me it's not too bad. I, I vape you know three different devices during the day and kind of alternate around. So uh, it's not too bad that way. Top cap next. And then um, you're ready to open up the uh, air control on it. So you go ahead and flip it upside down and um, unscrew the tank to expose the air holes. And at the same time, just to make sure you don't open up that juice control. Sometimes as you, you know, before there's uh, e-juice on those um, O-rings, she kind of spins in, you know, together sometimes. So as you open the, uh, unscrew the tank, just keep the juice control tight. Sometimes they do spin in unison. And you got to keep it upside down. As you can see, you can start seeing the air holes. So the uh, air control is open, juice is uh, still maintained shut, and um, you know, just keep it upside down for a second or two, flip it right side up, and um, you're ready to put this atomizer on your mod and vape. Stick the drip tip in. And there you have it. Got a number. I got 0538. Yeah, it's just a very nice machine device. Very, very nice. Vapes even better. So that's it. I put this on the mod. Um, take a few vapes and then you can start you know adjusting your juice control control as needed like I say I usually go one turn open and it's more than sufficient so uh, that's the build in the aqua tank so guys thanks for uh, watching the video I appreciate it and um, it, it I, I just can't um, I mean Drippers have always been, 
you know, the best devices for flavor. And, um, and, and these tanks, you know, provide a great vape, um, but usually can't match the flavor of a dripping atomizer. This does. Um, this has it both. You know, the convenience of a tank, the power of a, uh, of a dripper, and um, it just combines them both for flavor and um, is a winner in my book. So uh, just going to finish off by um, taking a few vapes and a um, couple things. Um, that degumped hemp, hemp uh, fibers, if you can find it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be out in the store, in all the uh, vape stores soon. But right now, I'm going to post the link. Um, the flavor is um, outbeats the cotton. It wicks better, and um, it lasts longer. And um, and if you get a chance, check out that um, Alexander's Monday, uh, Monday's Magic um, uh, Twisted Ribbon Wire. It's a little bit of work, but let me tell you, when you get that uh, ribbon twisted like that and make a coil out of it, it's another notch. So uh, a couple more vapes and um, we'll talk to you all later. Just some thick, tasty, tasty vapor, guys. The Aqua Tank. Vape Diver, out.